Welcome to episode 166, How to Be a Style Savvy Woman. Are you style savvy? Being style savvy means you know what your style is and you dress like you mean it. You know what's right for you and you don't waste time on things that aren't. You never compare yourself and you never let the trends or your age dictate what you wear. You have a style that's all your own and you're not afraid to flaunt it. But first... Spring is almost here. Is your wardrobe ready? If you're like most women, you wait until the weather has completely changed and you can no longer wear your winter clothes before you even start to think about spring. But once warmer weather is here, it's too late. Instead of desperately going in search of something, anything that will work and adding more clothes to your already jam-packed closet... I have a better idea. Instead of repeating this vicious cycle that leads you on a one-way path to overspending, I invite you to join me for an epic experience where we'll jumpstart your style just in time for one of the biggest and most exciting seasons of the year. Spring Style Jumpstart begins Monday, March 13th, and you can find all the details in the show notes. Designed just for the busy woman like you, each module will be taught live. However, it will be recorded so that you can go watch it at your own pace as many times as you like. If you've ever wished you had a style expert at your fingertips, then this course is for you. For what the average American woman spends on clothes per month, you, my friends, can invest in yourself and your style, saving money and paying yourself back with a style that's all your own. Sign up today and get ready to rock your style all season long. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique, and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, gorgeous. How are you? I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week and just enjoying all this beautiful weather. Well, (laughs) I guess that depends on where you are. I hope you have beautiful weather because here in Raleigh, I feel like it is spring. And I know last week I said we were having fall spring, but I don't know if this is still fall spring or the second fall spring (laughs) or it's actual spring. But I am looking at the weather. I don't think it's here to stay, but it certainly has gotten me thinking about spring clothes. And this week, ladies, I know so many of you have been telling me that you want a spring course on style and I am sharing so many good things. And the way I'm, uh, and what I'm doing this week, it's actually, trying to gift you with all the good things because there's so much confusion. So many women are telling me all the time, women who've never worked with me. And even some women who have taken a course here, a course there, they still need to go deeper. They want to go deeper. And I like to say with style, you're never done. There's always more to learn and fashion's always changing and your body's always changing. And so there's always tweaking and refining to do. But no, what I did or am doing are between March 6th and 7th, I've gone live or am going live. So if you're listening to this early on Tuesday, then you can still catch me at noon Eastern time, um, live on Instagram at style by Mary Michelle and at shop style finder. And I will be taking you behind the scenes because I'm actually filming a brand new course. And I have years ago, I created an ebook. It's called How to Build a Fabulous Wardrobe. And I give that to all my private clients because it is the fundamentals. It's what, in my opinion, all women should know. And I want you to know it too. And I decided to take it deeper. So more than just reading, I want you to actually have a course where I am there teaching it. And so I will be filming this course and I decided to take everyone with me behind the scenes. So I'm going to be filming, but you can come along and learn some pieces and parts of it. 
And then we are going to package it and sell it. But you can, if you missed it, you can go back and watch the replay. I am going to post it on my feed. But it's not going to be the entire course. It's just going to be little snippets of it uh, because there's a lot more that I'm going to be teaching and it's going to be in multiple parts. But I wanted to take you behind the scenes because I want you to understand how to build a wardrobe. Now, I like to say that most women don't need more clothes, but they need the right clothes. And most women don't have the right clothes. Do you ever feel that way? Today, I'm going to be talking about how to be a style savvy woman, because I want you to feel that you're savvy. What does savvy even mean? Well, let's talk about savvy. I have not actually looked up the official definition, but what I think savvy means, means that you're experienced. You are not a beginner. You know what you're doing. Things come naturally to you. You're confident in your choices and you just feel great about it. And so a style savvy woman is a woman who knows how to build her wardrobe, how to style her clothes, what her style even is. I want that for you. And so as we talk about these things today, I want you to think about what you can do to be a style savvy woman. But before we dive in, I have to tell you about one other thing that I am launching. And that, my friends, is my spring style jumpstart. So many of you have replied spring to me because I've been asking. I've been saying, hey, if you want me to do a spring course on my lives or on the podcast, so many women have been (laughs) sending me DMs that just say spring or course or something. And I'm like, I think I know what you're talking about, but... Uh, So I'm so excited that so many of you want to hear this and what we're going to do, there is a link in the show notes. So be sure to click on that because this is what all women need, in my opinion. And I'm not here to tell you what to wear. I am here to help you decide that for yourself, to empower you with all the tools to choose what to wear, to choose how to put it together, to choose. I am not a fashion dictator. (laughs) I am a style, I look at it as I'm a style educator. And I love that I get to teach women. I don't want to just do it for you. I want to do it with you. And I want to teach you to do it for yourself because I am not always going to be there in your closet to get dressed with you or in the fitting room or even on a live. And so I want you to know what to look for, what to think about, and I want you to to have confidence. And I think if you rely on somebody else to do it for you, you're not going to feel confident. You're not going to feel confident in your choices. You're going to feel dependent on somebody else. And so I want you to be a fashion independent because your style is all you and it can change. And I am going to be in this course, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on my own little style journey. I've had some, some new, I feel like every season I have new fashion inspiration and that's how it should be. And I've been playing around with some new looks and some new colors and doing some different things. I'm actually going to do some new things with my hair and It's just time for a refresh. But what my goal is with the Spring Style Jumpstart course is to take you with me on this journey to help you understand every step of the way what you're choosing and why. We're going to go through creating your seasonal color capsule. We're going to go through figuring out your your best silhouettes for spring and summer. We're going to get you set up with the right wardrobe capsule, we're going to get you set up with the right style inspiration, with the accessories, with clearing it, what to do in your closet, with all the things. And I'm also going to be teaching along with it. It's going to include a masterclass on the spring trends, colors, trends, and the things that you really need to pay attention to because it, it's a balance. Building a wardrobe is a balance. And I, I could talk all day about that. I won't today. I'm going to save that. But I will tell you that style is not a one and done. Style is a process. Style is an experience. It's a journey. I like to say it's a journey. I used to say it's a process. And some so many people have tried to say, don't use that word. But it kind of is a process. And it's a process of evolution. And you're always changing. 
who you are becoming is always changing. Your body's changing. So and you're changing on the inside and you're changing on the outside. And fashion is changing. And so, you know, I've talked so much about the cycle of style and, you know, how all things and how things all work together. But if you're feeling like you're in a rut, if you're feeling like you've lost your style, you don't even know where to begin. Yeah, I think some people still have a COVID style hangover. Some people still haven't gotten back in the groove. And instead of getting back in the groove, why don't you create a new groove? Why don't you decide who you are now? You're not the same woman you were before COVID or even after COVID. And I think each season brings us a fresh opportunity to reinvent ourselves and reinvent our style. And so I invite you to come join me for Spring Style Jumpstart because we're going to refresh your style, invigorate your style, and get you set up for success. In my opinion, there are a few things that are worse than not paying attention to your wardrobe. And then all of a sudden, the weather changes and it is clear that you can no longer wear your winter boots and you don't know what the heck to wear. And you pull out your things from last year and nothing fits. Nothing fits. Maybe you gained weight, lost weight, your body changed, something's different, or you just don't like what you were last year. And you realize, oh yeah, last year I didn't really have style. And whether you feel like you have a closet full of clothes for spring and summer, or you have nothing, this is the place to be. Spring Style Jumpstart is designed to give you a leg up on your style and help you really understand Elements that you can use, honestly, every season or anytime you need a refresh, you it's going to teach you what to pay attention to. It's going to teach you what to look for. And when you know these fundamentals, this is what I feel like I preach and teach all the time, the fundamentals. But when you know the fundamentals, think about like if you're in school, you learn the fundamentals, you learn basic math, you learn basic algebra, you learn basic arithmetic, you learn basic multiplication, you learn the fundamentals in science and biology and history, you like you learn the fundamentals. But if you, or if you're learning a new language, I'm going to be going to Paris in a couple of weeks and I'm stepping out I'm not, I, <laughs> I probably should take a course on French, but I'm just not ready for that. Uh, And I didn't really feel like I needed to, but I am starting to brush up on some French words and phrases. And where do I start? I start with the fundamentals. When I have the fundamentals, then I can go on to the other things. I don't jump into the most complicated sentences and expect to be a pro. No, I start with, you know, simple words and days of the week. And what are the things that I'm going to need to know? Like, where is the restroom or where is the metro stop or you know, what time is it? Kelly Teal, or my name is Je m'appelle Michelle. My name is Michelle, or bonjour, or, and just the fundamentals, the fundamentals. And so I want to teach you the style fundamentals so that you know how to get it started. You know what to tweak, what to change, where to mix things up. If you don't have any idea, then guess what? You're probably just buying way too many clothes, spending money on clothes that are not right for you, and you still feel like you have nothing to wear. If that is you, girl, I have got you. So come join me. You're going to save so much money just by investing in this course. And to be honest, what I'm charging for this course, it probably should be a lot more, but I wanted to make it available to a lot more women. And I will tell you on this course, it is virtual and there will be some live components, but everything will be recorded. And so if you can't join me live, it will be taught live. And if you can't join me live, then you can go back and watch the replays once, a hundred times, as many times as you want. And it's going to be done with you, done with me. So I'm going to be guiding, I'm going to be guiding you every step of the way. And there will be plenty of time for QA. There will be plenty of worksheets. There will be plenty of great advice to inspire you, to get you to really think about things differently. And We have our own little salon where we're going to be hanging out 
connecting with each other, posting our pictures, sharing our progress. And we're going to have some prizes along the way. So come join me there and get ready to save. Honestly, for less, honestly, you can grab this course for about the same amount of money the average American woman spends in her closet a month. Isn't that a much better place to invest in your wardrobe rather than spending more money on clothes that aren't right for you? All right, let's dive in. The link for the course is in the show notes, and I hope to see you there. All right, let's think about becoming a style savvy woman. Because, girl, I tell you what, you stick with me, you're going to be style savvy. You are going to know. I am so proud of one of my clients. I just have to give one of my clients a big shout out, Ravilla. If she is listening, Ravilla, girl, you rock. And I met her, I don't know, a little over a year or so ago. And she, we had donated a style package to Dress for Success. And Ravilla happened to bid on it. And so we got to work together. And we did, uh, essentially, we did a color analysis and we did some shopping. And so she kind of just, you know, scratched the tip of the iceberg and discovered her best colors and saw what a difference some of these new colors made. And she went home and she sent me a message and she's like, oh my gosh, like I'm getting so many compliments. I'm wearing these quote unquote new colors because I turned her on to some colors that she wasn't wearing before. But the crazy thing is there were some colors that were already present on her body, in her hair, tied in with her skin tone, and they lit her up and made her look amazing. And so many people were stopping her. She's like, it's almost embarrassing. And then she came back. She's like, I want to go deeper. And so I took her through uh, my Style Finder, what I call my Style Finder 101 experience. And she took our Style Finder assessment and we went through all the pieces and all the parts. And then she joined me for our, um, then she joined me back in January for the Style Reset retreat. And it was so amazing to think about where she had started and how far she had come. And I tell you what, the colors that she was wearing, we we were all floored. We're like, oh my gosh, like that is the most incredible shade. And she told me, she's like, oh yeah, I've had this for a while. I kind of forgot I had it until, you know, you brought up that turquoise was a really good color for me. And she had on this amazing, amazing turquoise sweater. But I love to see so many of my clients who make that kind of progress and they come to me not really knowing a whole lot about style. Maybe they've worked with a style consultant in the past, or maybe they've had some help, maybe not. But when they start learning, when they start understanding, I think it's the education piece that really, really does make you a style savvy woman. Because if you don't know why you're doing something, then anything's an option. And if you don't know why you're doing something, then you're going to fall victim to the trends. And if you fall victim to the trends, then you're not going to feel very confident in your style. The trends change at the drop of a hat. And if you're always chasing the next thing, you're never embracing and cultivating the style you have right now. And it, when you're not, I found that when you're connected with your style, it's a connection with yourself. It's a deeper connection with yourself. But if you're not connected with your style, most women are disconnected from who they are. They're just kind of going through the motions. They're just putting things on because they've always worn that, or it feels comfortable, or that's what's in my closet. And they don't really want to think about it. Style starts from within. And I think that when you're a style savvy woman, you know what's right for you. And so the first step of being style savvy is the style savvy woman is in touch. Being style savvy means that you're not only up on the latest styles, but that you're also in tune with your styles. Now, I am a big believer in paying attention to the trends. However, I am not a fan of letting the trends dictate what you wear. Your style is your style. And 
I want you to dress for who you are, but I also want you to pay attention to what's current, what is going on in the fashion world, because it helps you to stay in touch. The style savvy woman is in touch. You might not embrace a lot of the trends, but you know, oh, I know what colors are hot right now. I know what sneakers people are wearing. I know what cut of jeans is hot right now. I mean, right now, to be honest, we're seeing a lot of women ditch their skinny jeans in favor of a straight leg, myself included. And I am kind of surprised by that, but it was one of those things that once I discovered or I should say rediscovered straight leg jeans. It's been a long time since I wore straight leg jeans. And to be honest, for a while, I thought they're not very flattering for me. And what I realized is what really is flattering for me is a cropped straight leg. I don't know why a crop silhouette just works for me better. And I, whether I pair it with ankle booties or sneakers or wedges, it just works better. And when I can wear a cropped ankle and when I can wear a cropped straight leg, it just feels fabulous. However, if I just wear a regular straight leg full length, I feel frumpy. I feel matronly. That's not my look. And I know that about myself. That's one of my signature silhouettes. But I've found myself slowly, slowly letting go of the skinny jeans. There are still a few pairs that I wear, but here's where I want you to wear what works for you. We still sell so many skinny jeans in the boutique. We're still seeing so many skinny jeans from our vendors. And, and what I like to say is that skinny jeans, in my opinion, have become a classic. They have transcended the trends to become a classic. Remember when they first came out and that's all any wanted to wear and that's all you could find. I just felt like they were kind of crammed in our throat for a little while. And it was like, well, I guess I'm wearing skinny jeans, but eventually I embraced them. And then I actually love them. I wear a lot of boots and they worked really well with my boots and they can actually be very, very slimming with certain looks. So if skinny jeans are right for you, wear them with confidence. Don't feel like you have to get rid of your skinny jeans, but if you are open to other silhouettes, I encourage you try a straight leg because it might help you feel savvy with it on trend. The style savvy woman, though, knows what's right for her and she never compromises just because something is hot right now. Number two, the style savvy woman cultivates her wardrobe. The style savvy woman understands the importance of building a wardrobe and is always on the lookout for the right pieces to mix in with what she already has. This keeps her look fresh and exciting. Now, this is what I'm going to be teaching you in our spring style jumpstart course. I'm going to teach you how to cultivate your wardrobe for spring. So I like to look at cultivating as it's not, style is never a one and done. And I think, you know, I've talked a lot about, yeah, you know, I posted the other day on my Instagram feed, a post about what kind of shopper are you? And there are five basic types of shoppers that I have seen in my many years of retail. <laughs> I think I've been working retail since I was in college. And it's funny because people keep asking me to work retail. I started out being asked to work my very first retail job, <laughs> two retail jobs, actually, my very first year of college, I was invited to work retail. And my it's never something I sought out. But eventually, I'm like, okay, I get it now. And I, I was just part of my path. But what I have seen is that there are five basic types of shoppers. And now I have a whole podcast. I think it's called What Type of Shopper Are You? I encourage you to go listen to that. Or just go look at my post on Instagram. But there's one type of shopper, the get it done shopper that shops like a man. And while that may or may not be, while that may not seem like a bad thing, what I've found happens with the get it done shopper is the get it done shopper does not cultivate her wardrobe. The get it done shopper, let's say she's recently started a new job. She goes out, she buys everything she thinks she'll possibly need which is great, which means that she finishes her outfits, 
she buys all the jewelry and all the accessories and the shoes and the undergarments and all the accoutrement. She has the bag. She's got everything she would possibly need. But she doesn't spend time cultivating. Maybe she doesn't like shopping and she just wants to go, you know, once a year or (laughs) twice a year. What happens is she risks wearing the same thing over and over and over. And by cultivating your wardrobe, it doesn't always necessarily mean you have to bring in new things. Sometimes cultivating can be exactly what I did this morning. I saw, and I'm going to be taking you all behind the scenes in my own little style journey. I feel like there's a lot that happens that I just, I I don't share. I probably should share more. So if you want to hear more, let me know. But I am not going to divulge my current style icon. However, I saw a picture yesterday on social media and you know, when you see something and it just kind of sits sits with you for a little while and then you're like, you know, I actually think I really like that. That happens to me a lot. I see things and it's like, it just kind of it's floating around the back of my brain. And then all of a sudden it's like, boom, I have to have that. And it's just this, like, I get this, like, craving, almost like for chocolate, like for clothes, like I'm craving a great pair of sneakers, or I'm craving a beautiful, great, fabulous blazer. I get these style cravings. And I started craving this look. And I I, I should, I'm going to be posting pictures. Actually, I posted on my story this morning. And so if you saw me, and saw my Instagram story on Sunday, my outfit of the day with my RBF. I wasn't smiling in that picture. <laughs> that was what I was experimenting with because I was thinking about this look and I'm like, you know, where could I get those boots? I'm not, are those boots even me? And what I did actually was I got into my closet and I realized I'm like, oh my gosh, I could create a look similar using pieces I already have. And so I got into my closet and I pulled out some things and put them together in a new and different way and proceeded to go over to our rental house and clean up wearing this brand new outfit. I showed up, we've got a house that we're putting on the market and one of our fabulous clients is helping us to sell it and shout out to Marika and We are uh, coming down the home stretch, but we've had to do a few things to it. And we had to go, I had to go pick up some light fixtures and clean the floors. And I didn't realize I was going to be cleaning the floors in this outfit, but fortunately it was comfy. (laughs) That I should have taken a picture of, right? But anyway, I, what I did was I tried something different. Now I've talked about wearing straight leg jeans. And so I'm wearing the Joni jeans from Style Finder. And they are a straight leg and they actually have a sort of a decorative seam. Well, it's not just decorative, but it, they're pieced. And so they have two side seams and they have a raw edge. But what I did with those is I wore them with my favorite brown old gringo Western boots, but I tucked them in and I felt very 70s. I did. In fact, I remember clearly when I was in fifth grade, my very first pair of boots with a wedge crepe sole and a side zipper, I remember taking my jeans and folding them. Did you guys ever do that where you folded your jeans to fit inside your boots? Well, I did that this morning and I'm like, huh, I did that many, many, many years ago and probably 1979. (laughs) but I actually saw another style influencer do that on Instagram recently and everything old is new again. Right. And she's somebody who's about my age. I'm like, girl, we've already done that one, one time in our lives, but I actually kind of like the look. So if you see that picture, let me know. I may be posting it again, but like I said, I had an RBF. I was not smiling. Just trying out something different. Um, and I'm not sure it was the best look for me. So anyway, but cultivating your wardrobe means experimenting, wearing something that you already have in a new and different way. And I did put on my, I call it my studio 54 necklace. (laughs) I have this fabulous, very seventies inspired, 
a gold mesh necklace. It's like this triangular sort of a bib shape. And I love it, but I don't wear it very often. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wear that today. And anyway, it was a, it was a different way to wear things. It was putting things together in a, an unexpected way. And I kind of like the result. So, but cultivate your wardrobe. When you play and wear things together that you don't normally wear together or wear them in a different way or bring in something different, that's where the magic happens. That's where you stay in touch with your style. All right. Number three, the style savvy woman knows when to say yes with confidence. The style savvy woman knows when to invest and when to walk away. The style savvy woman is not afraid to spend $85 on a top that she knows will help her to create many new outfits. Remember the rule of three? Got to wear it with at least three things. And so if she finds a great top, it's $85, $100, $150, however much it is. Now, I don't encourage you to spend a boatload of money on a top because tops don't often last. At least in my house, they don't. (laughs) I wear my clothes, but if you can make at least three outfits with it, then you know, you're going to be able to wear it. You're going to get your money's worth, but then you might turn around. You walk away from a top. that's only $63 because it's not your best color or it's limiting or the fabric's not right. Or, you know, it's going to be pilling after a few washings, or it's just not right for you in some way, or you don't have three things that are, that are going to go with it. Maybe it's a very specific kind of top. You've heard me talk about one hit wonders. One hit wonders are often those pieces that can only be worn with certain pieces, or maybe it's a really strange color. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, what about like things that are similar to a color that is right for you, but it's not quite right can you still wear that? I'm like, well, you know, when you have 57 colors in your closet, it can make it really tricky to get dressed because you have too many options. But walk away if it's not, walk away if it's not an absolute yes. If it's not a full body yes, it is a full body no. All right, number four, the style savvy woman shows off her best assets. The style savvy woman plays up her great legs, shows off her gorgeous smile, or highlights her figure with clothing and accessories that make her look and feel like a million bucks. You never compare. The style savvy woman never, ever compares herself to others, knowing that comparison is the thief of joy. But she embraces what makes her truly beautiful, and she shines Show off your best assets. And this is where you can use color to your advantage. People are always asking me about understanding what colors to wear. And if you need to know a few of your best colors, I encourage you to take our course, How to Find Your Signature Style. You will learn two to three of your very best colors. And that puts you on a path to getting started. If you want a full color analysis, I am doing some of those limited on a limited basis, but there is a link in, in the show notes. And of course, if you join me for the spring style jumpstart, we're going to create your entire spring color capsule. I'm going to walk you through that. So I encourage you come take that because it is money well spent. I I promise you. But when you know your best colors and you know what's going to light you up, then you can build your wardrobe around it. And then it just makes you look great. So highlight your smile, play up your hair, play up your ankles, your wrists, your waistline, your whatever it is that you want to show off. And I encourage you, you know, when I work with my private clients, I have a questionnaire and I always ask them to tell me three things that you love about yourself and one that you're not so crazy about. And of course, women always want to tell me three things they're not so crazy about. Focus on the positive. Focus on what I call your assets and attributes, because if all you can see is what's quote unquote wrong with you, there's never, ever anything wrong with you. But if you're walking around thinking that there is, 
or thinking that you're not a good, not enough or you're too much or you, that you're judging yourself in some way. Stop and start to notice, well, what do people compliment me on? Or what do I feel really good about? Or notice, oh, my skin's looking really good lately, which side note, my skin has been looking pretty good lately. I've been on a whole skincare journey, which I think I probably need to do a whole podcast on. But if your skin's been looking good, great, play it up. Maybe you wear colors that complement your skin tone. If your hair has been looking great, wonderful, wear your color that is going to make your hair pop. You have beautiful eyes. Okay, great. Wear something make, that makes your eyes pop. You just got your nails done. Great. Maybe you wear a wonderful ring or something that draws attention to your hands. What is it about you? Find out what your assets are and then play them up. Because that, my dear, is when that's all people see. They see the good stuff. They don't see the stuff you're not so crazy about. All right. And number five, the style savvy woman dresses like she means it. The style savvy woman knows what clothes make her pulse quicken and bring a smile to her face. She dresses to please herself and no one else. That, my friends, is part of the big secret. It's dressing for you. In fact, yesterday I found myself getting dressed and doing some things just for me. Just for me. Big Daddy was playing golf. I had been doing some things during the day and did not take a shower until about five o'clock. And part of me thought, well, I should take a shower before he gets home. And then I thought, nah, he does, you know, why, why should I do it for him? And then I thought, you know what? I want to do it for me. I would feel better if I took a shower. Someone took a shower and then I poured myself a glass of sparkling, uh, not alcoholic wine. <laughs> My body is just not always tolerating alcohol like it used to. So, but I put on a nice dress and and I poured myself a glass of sparkling wine and I was just in my own little bubble. It's like, you know what? I did this for me. It was all about bringing my self-pleasure. I put on the music I wanted to hear. I lit a candle. I was just have, I was just vibing. I was just in my own little element. And then of course, when he came home, he's like, Hey, you, you're like, you're having fun. I was like, yeah, doing my own thing. And it, it was great. And then we had a great night. So you know, but I, you know, if I sit around waiting for him and taking a shower for him, then, you know, <laughs> that puts the expectation on him to show up. And so, you know, let the guys do their thing, do it for you, girls, do it for you. Because when you do things to bring more pleasure and sensuality in your day, it just helps you to feel better. It keeps you in touch with your feminine side. It helps you to stay in touch with what lights you up. But the style savvy woman dresses like she means it. She wears what she wants to wear. You know, when you put on something and you're like, I really want to wear that red top, or I really want to wear that comfortable dress, or I really want to wear those gorgeous boots, whatever it is, wear it for you. It's a feeling. It's like, yeah, like, I don't care if anybody likes this, but I like it. When you wear something like that, like you are unstoppable. And when you can dress like that every day, you, my friends, are going to be confident and unstoppable because you deserve to dress like you mean it. You're dressing with intention. You're not wondering, oh, what's she going to think about my shirt? What's he going to think about my shoes? And oh, I should wear that necklace that, you know, kind of just plays this whole thing down. Don't play down. Don't play anything down. Play up. Play yourself up and show off the beautiful and amazing woman you already are. Because you, my friends, are already style savvy. All right, let's go back through this real quick. All right, number one, the style savvy woman is in touch. Number two, the style savvy woman cultivates her wardrobe. Number three, the style savvy woman knows when to say yes. Number four, the style savvy woman shows off her best assets. And number five, the style savvy woman dresses like she means it. The style savvy woman can be you. 
Let's move away from stereotypes and step into being the most amazing and beautiful you. No matter what your age, your size, or your weight, you deserve to rock your style at every phase of life. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope you will join me for the Spring Style Jumpstart. And if you need any of the details, click the link in the show notes and you can read it all there. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.